my youngest daughter, Tabitha, was there with me on Wednesday, January 6th. It was the day after we buried her brother, our son, Tommy, the saddest day of our lives. Also, there was my son-in-law, Hank, who's married to our oldest daughter, Hannah, and I, I consider him a son, too. And then there was a sound I will never forget, the sound of pounding on the door like a battering ram, the most haunting sound I ever heard, and I will never forget it. My chief of staff, Julie Tagan, was with Tabitha and Hank locked and barricaded in that office, the kids hiding under the desk, placing what they thought were their final texts and whispered phone calls to say their goodbyes. They thought they were going to die. I hugged them, and I apologized, and I told my daughter Tabitha. who's 24 and a brilliant algebra teacher in Teach for America. Now, I told her how sorry I was, and I promised her that it would not be like this again the next time she came back to the Capitol with me. And you know what she said? She said, Dad, I don't want to come back to the Capitol again. <laughs> Of all the terrible, brutal things I saw and I heard on that day, and since then, that one hit me the hardest. That and watching someone use an American flagpole, with the flag still on it, to spear and pummel one of our police officers ruthlessly, mercilessly, tortured by a pole with a flag on it that he was defending with his very life. People died that day. Officers ended up with head damage and brain damage. People's eyes were gouged. An officer had a heart attack. An officer lost three fingers that day. Two officers have taken their own lives. Senators this cannot be our future. This cannot be the future of America. We cannot have presidents inciting and mobilizing mob violence against our government and our institutions because they refuse to accept the will of the people under the Constitution of the United States.